What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so, okay, this episode will be narrated. Don't worry, guys. It's just that the last episode, I realized, wow, we are going to the dreaded uh, Route 16, 15, 14. Yeah, those routes, and I really didn't feel like talking about that place in particular. So, as you can see right here, guys, we are in Saffron City, and we're going to be making our way to Cerulean City. There is a big blackout that we need to take care of. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys would would like to see the, you know, the conclusion of this whole thing right here. So here it is, Cerulean City. Now, just when you think that you can actually go in and take on Missy herself, uh, yeah, that's not that's not really the thing right there because well, something is afoot. Something is big, something big is afoot. There's a big foot around here, and there is literally nobody in this gym. So, we're going to have to try and figure out what the heck is going on. Because when we got to Kanto, yes, there has been a, a major blackout. The easiest way to get to, uh, to to Johto is the Magnet Train. And unfortunately for us, you know, everything is out. And uh, this individual right here obviously talked about the Kanto power plant. Now, three years has gone by, we can actually go over to the Kanto Power Plant and actually battle people, get to see it all refurbished and all that stuff. I mean, it's uh, it's a huge progress from, uh, from Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, including Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. That's, it's a pretty big thing, and, and it, apparently it's going to be a generator that's been missing. So, while we're doing all that, we're going to be battling some more trainers. Because last episode, we battled a boatload of trainers, and I really didn't want to talk about it. I really didn't. But a few episodes ago, we went into the Power Park, and, well, of course, me not having to record anything, doing any kind of post comment, and all this stuff right here, I, I realized that, you know, I did use the Power Park before in order to capture some Pokemon needed for the final battle against Red. And... Well, that, that right there is going to be very, very fun because, well, you know, Red, most powerful Pokemon right, uh, Pokemon trainer. And I kind of, like, okay, me thinking to myself right now, it's like this. Okay, so back in September when I was recording this, I think the reason to why I, I sent most of those powerful Pokemon into, into this game right here was not a, well, well, a to complete the Pokedex and B to have Pokemon ready for Red. Not only that, but have previous Pokemon team members that have had any previous iterations come in here and finish the job for me. I kind of, I, I think I could say that I was inspired through the whole uh, Pokemon Black, Pokemon Platinum help part that I did. So yeah, that's a, that's that's just another thing that you know it, it's starting to pop up in my head since you know I didn't really. It's been a while since I've actually played this game or even looked at this footage right here. So while we're talking, guys. Again, I'm going to have to remind you guys of what, what is going to happen and what is currently happening while you guys are watching this video. So, the whole marathon, uh, the whole birthday marathon is, is something special for me to you guys because what I want to do for you guys is this. I want you guys to, you know, I, I, want, you get, I want you guys to see the walkthroughs that I can complete. Heart Gold, Heart Gold, uh, what was it, Brilliant Diamond, and... Pokemon Moon. All three of these walkthroughs I paused after I made the switch to a studio and all that crud. And it wasn't fair to you guys. And, you know, obviously, you know, knowing that my birthday's coming up, I always do some kind of marathon. Why not do the big one? Right here. Now, with that being said, obviously, uh, through my, my, what was it called? Uh, through my, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, my memory cards and all that stuff. Uh, I found eight episodes, eight of the eight out of the twenty episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold that I uh, was supposed to voice over and all that stuff. And unfortunately for us, at episode fifty, which is the next one, that's where everything will will stop for the time being because, well, you know, old computer went kaputs on us. New computer doesn't have the file necessary. Even if it did, we'd be too far ahead with no footage. So, good old Draven is playing Pokemon uh, Heart Gold off screen for you guys' entertainment. That way, you know, that way we, 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 we can continue this whole walkthrough. Uh, granted, I'm going to have to watch 
Pokemon Heart Gold all over again to see what kind of Pokemon we actually have in our PC. That way, you know, we, we, we stay the same with what we got. Hell, I might even add a Pokemon here and there for added flavor for, you know, uh, the whole here, or not the whole here, the whole mantra of, you know, uh, catching native Pokemon and battling uh, red right here. Yes, I know. It sounds like cheating and all that stuff, guys, but really it's not. It's not cheating or anything like that. Pal Park is there for a reason, and I did mention, or I, I did have the idea that, you know, if we're going to take on a, a, the strongest Pokemon trainer ever, might as, use, might as well use the Pokemon that, uh, that brought us to the dance right here. And that means every single Pokemon, everything in the kitchen sink. So I will be creating a team, a super team, in order to defeat Ray. And, well, look at that. Nessie is kicking some butt, taking some names. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and another thing, too, guys. Uh, after episode 50, it will be going back to Livecom. I know many of you guys are excited for that one. I'm sure excited because, well, shoot. The example is right there in uh, episodes 45 and 48. You guys already know that I started this whole, ep or I started this whole um, channel as a post-comp channel and uh well you know having to like having to, to be accustomed to something new which was uh live comment and all that stuff and having to get better at it like i am right now i kind of realized that you know what this the, I, I i i know exactly why i, I decided to stop Pokemon gold and that was because i got lazy with the whole post comp and the post comp came, came because my old computer was slowing down, and the only way I could get this whole game to its actual speed was, you know, recording the episodes uh, in game and all that stuff with the disc movement. But now that you know we have new equipment and all that stuff, uh, postcom is a possibility yet again because the example's right there with Pokemon White 2. So again, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm very, very excited to continue this whole thing right here. Uh, yes, it does look like we are going to be having a boatload of walkthroughs yet again, but guess what, guys? Uh, month of July is a very good one for me because I'm going to be stocking up on episodes on every single walkthrough. That way you guys can have a nice uh, array of uh, walkthroughs on top of that. We can finish a few walkthroughs before the end of the, before the, end of the year and all that stuff. That, and get a little bit less on, uh, off our table because, you know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is coming soon, probably in November, I think that's what it is. Yeah, not only that, but this game is, uh, this walkthrough is two years old, literally two years old. We need to finish this. Can't let it go to three or four years old anymore because, well, you know, it's starting to remind me of my Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough back when I was driving XC 7-Eleven. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to be using a Super Repel, and we're going to go straight to the Pokemon Power Plant right here at Route 10, back in Fire Red and Leaf Green. This used to be an old rundown power plant, but since then, uh, yeah, it, it's well equipped. There's people in here, and this guy is pretty angry, or, you know, security guard is telling me that the, the, well, the, co or the manager of this whole power plant is mad because somebody stole the generator that lights up everything in Kanto. So, once we talk to the to the manager, we step outside. This police officer gets a phone call, and in Cerulean City, there is a shady character luring around right here. And this guy is asking, "Can I ask for your cooperation?" The gentleman that we're talking about is right well, was, was spotted near the Cerulean gym. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right here, guys. Is we're gonna be yeah, we're gonna be finding this shady character. And hopefully this shady character right here will actually, you know, lead us to the generator that's been missing. Because, well, we kind of need to get the Johto. We kind of need to do uh, other stuff here, too. Explore the whole situation and all that. You know, and this guy has seen uh, the, uh, the person that snuck into the gym. So once we go into the gym, bam, this guy bumps into us. And you can tell by reading the dialogue that he is not from around here. The song says it itself. It's a Team Rocket member. And this guy's like, forget everything. I bye bye go go. Hmm. But eventually we do get to see this guy again. So we're going to be running after him, seeing where the heck he, he, he's gone to. So let's go right up here. Where in the heck are you? And 
he's expected. Okay, so this is Cameron, the photographer. Definitely not going to talk to him just yet. And there he is. He's going to come in between these two lovers. And yes, he was hiding between these people. He's like, if, if you don't see me, it's not illegal. That's not how it works. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be battling a Team Rocket grunt who didn't get the news that, you know, Team Rocket is done. It's over. It's done. I don't know. But here he comes out with a gold bat, and here comes Nessie. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead and just destroy him. So here we go. Ice Beam Attack for the win. And just like that, gold bat is no more. And at this point right here, you should be at at least level 50, level 55. This guy should be no problem. Like I said, he missed the memo on uh, you know Team Rocket being destroyed and all that stuff. And well, from the dialogue again, he's from another country, so you won't be able to get what he's saying. He's just you know, I stole a generator, and I'll tell you a secret. Will I? Machine parts steal by me, hidden in a gym, a cerulean, inflatable, but it's somewhere in between. And yes, this is where he finds out that Team Rocket is no more. And well. He's going to be going back to his own country, which, believe it or not, uh, we will we will see him again at some point in Generation 5. So, he did say go back to the Cerulean Gym. He did hide the generator near the inflatable tube, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. It's just uh, going into the inflatable tubes right here. And the only question is, which one? There's one, two, three, three of them, three sections of them. Maybe four? No, there's just three. Yeah, four sections of them. And I think it's the one in the second row right here. So let's go right ahead and surf. And here we go. Lapras. Come inside. I don't know why you don't turn into a Lapras around that point. And... Okay, so we have to go up top right here just to find the generator. And click on this. No, nope, not really. Uh, okay, so we have to step right here. And nothing right there, so if we go right here. Seriously? It should be here somewhere. Okay, hold on. It's gonna take me a while to actually figure this one out right here, so hold on. It should be right here, right? Or am I doing something am I doing something wrong here? Hold on. Let's go right up here. And there it is, guys. We have found ourselves the machine part for the generator. And all that there, all that there is left to do is go straight back to the power plant, and I think you can actually fly towards there, or maybe not. No, you actually have to go to the Pokemon Center in order to get there, which we didn't do. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, so never mind. All right, so here we are going straight back, and well, let's see what happens right here. Let's see what happens. We already battled everybody. We need cut for that extra that extra item right there. So let's go right ahead right here. And I think I still have a repel left with me. I don't know. We'll figure that out too. And hopefully we all get attacked by a Pokemon right here somewhere. I don't know. And yeah. We got attacked by a Pokemon. You gotta love him. And it is a Goldeen. Oh my god. Goldeen. Why are you being so mean to me? I do not know. So, let's get the heck out of here. We're, we're above this gold and we're going to be destroying it, and it's not going to be happy towards us. So, let's go right here, and very easily, we're going to go into the Pokemon uh, power plant right here. And after all that, go straight to the manager and talk to him, and he's going to be super happy because, yes, we do have the machine part stolen from his beloved generator. And from there... He's going to have to attach this and that, and then bam, the generator is up and running again, and all of Kanto now has power, which means there are a lot of things that you can do now, which we will be settling after we win our what, 13th badge, I believe. Look at that. Generators. You can hear the generator just working. Holy crud. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we are going back to Cerulean City, and... Yeah, we need to handle some business right here because we need to get our 13th badge right here. And uh, I'm not leaving Cerulean City until we get it. So thank you guys again for watching. In the next episode, we're going to figure this thing out. See you guys.